Welcome to Cut Forces, and today we have another round, and it's the one round. So I want to do like a lot of commentary during the contest because you know it's rated and I still regard regardless of like how many competition I participate in, I still for some reason care a little about rating. So yeah, I'll try to be focused and stuff like that. So something like along these lines, like almost 1600 participants for D1, that's a lot. And I, since the scale distribution, it appears that we should do like first three problems because they are also in D2. And then maybe we can do the first problem and that will be a very good result for us today. I believe so. So let's see the problems. Can open the submit tab straight away, and then I would like to open all problems. Wow, that's
I feel like we can look up certain everything. No, it's strange. Strange, strange. Like if all numbers have the same remind, remainder modulus sum prime, you know, we clearly can't do it. The way to check it is you just need to just a bit. Uh, I don't, I don't think like it's uh, the, the, the sufficient criteria. Actually, we can do just this. This is just in the right since the past past seventeen. Is this a day guaranteed to? It's guaranteed to be positive, I guess. Right. Oh. Hmm. Because, like, if you have two numbers, one gives remainder a module of p, and another gives then this. Expression also gives the same remainder. <clears throat> if this is, is not home, then the answer is no. Otherwise, otherwise we have to say that. I have I want to say that we see out, but I have no formal proof and it's almost certainly wrong. I uh, made a type on my template. Well, the answers coincide, but why like we can get everything else? I see no clear reason why we can't do it. And also I feel like this may be missing. Or at least this. No, you can't do this. You can't do this. You want like exactly that number, right? But then, uh, I want this number, but. Mm, Smaller than zero, but I think C plus plus does not go on chains. Oh, I'm very tempted to try it, but it feels so wrong. Like it can't be that easy. I mean, it should be D. If two words. This is all.
Wait, what happened? The answer is different now than it was before. Wait. Oh, it's different. In this case, answer is yes. And it should back, it absolutely should be yes. Wait, wait, wait. How is it now here? So for everything else is achievable. Suppose we have the two numbers here, so like that. I don't want to get wrong answer because like earlier today we practiced and we think that this person knows how to bait you for the wrong answer. Um, You can take two a subtract this it's gonna be three a minus two b so the reason is because you can get gcd of two numbers with such operations and then we should be able to recover everything else. I think this is uh, the point. Okay. Oh. Just hope. It looks reasonable, like if uh, this condition did not hold, then you can do a GCD of the differences. Particular like GCD is one or or you just can get GCD and then you get everything that is here. Because of the differences, not like usual GCD, but the remainders persist. And still virtual. And it's really suspicious. Sorry. Is it trying to answer too? Well, okay. So we do have some intuition. Okay, man, you don't, you can't imagine just how easier it feels because like officially on mathematical limit, I was spent another hour proving everything, but here it's just, uh, okay. It's again, as expected, we've seen bit problems earlier today. 
and then queries follow, right? And you are, this is mad, okay. This is really, sounds complicated. Strings. One day. to come this here in this problem. No, it means it's what Less than half. Less than half. Less than half. Segments for one front and one screen. Okay, so that's what is yes. Zero one one two is what is no. Um. Wait, you can just go the other way around. Like, you know, before that, you have to make, okay. But then, uh, oof.
Don't tell me that I need a segment tree for it. I don't want to deal with segment tree. Okay, so we go from F to S. Go from this, we see query 610. We have to make 610 all the same character. We can make it with the map like, want to assign on that segment afterwards. And we also want to say like, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I just not, not trying to, like, you clearly can see that you can do it with segment tree, right? We want to assign on the segment and query some on the segment. All we need from our segment tree. Assign on the segment and query. That's not a segment tree, that's a family tree. And query, stop. We want to query the sum. No, we need segment tree then. Oh man, that's my nemesis. Uh, hmm. We have to assign on the segment and query the sum on the segment. Right? There is no better way. Like, oh man. I was not ready for it, so I have to. Actually, maybe the CPI algorithm has a better implementation. We want to assign on the segment and we want so going from back to from end to start, we want to assign on the segment and query sum on the segment. And that should be a segment tree, right? Um, there is some talk, but I have to read it. Uh, do we really need segment tree for it? I mean, like. It's okay. Which one looks like?
and oh, sometimes we just got to do what you got to do. There's no other way. This is it. You have to deal with it. Wait, no, wait, no, no, no. Okay, maybe we don't need it. We have to change the same. But what do we do like another time? We, we can do whatever we want in the other time. Or not? No, no, like we have to color the entire segment this way. Right, unfortunately. Oh. What do we have? We have to call build. Build should be called with a begin, I guess. Not just a vertex is one, zero, and then same line is one. So. Wait, and this is a build for a different version of symmetry. I hate it. Oh man. Wait, I don't want to read the, what the hell do I want? I want to sum on the sub -segment. Sum on segments, a sign of in segment. And segment tree does it, right? Okay. 
Mind so. Fuck. We are fucked up at that point, honestly. Want to wrench some and wrench assignments. Man, wow, and this is geometry. What the heck? If we end up solving first three problems and we are getting good at that contest, I must say. Um, I, I just know, I, I don't know how to do it. Sorry, I'm not a professional signature master. Uh, I like like ideas, not sexual implementation, to be honest with you. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Zero points off, okay. Uh -huh. Since it's a previous problem, we can actually solve with the security decomposition, something like that. What do you see? Yes, yeah, suppose we write an security decomposition. Each block contains its actual state, and then it contains like whether or not it's entirely colored one color. What's the assignments in this working? Right. If you're not sure how to do something with segment trees and uh, then a security, a security decomposition should help. Uh, hmm. But how are we actually going to? Block.
So I'm doing some I mean, SVRT should pass for this, right? Unfortunately, I'm going to write something like this. Let's add plus one. Black signs plus equals. Black signs equals black count. We don't need actual wells in the way. No, we do not okay. Why do I need to block site? Right, so that was a close. Block some spark. Oh, black sun is not huge. Why am I so stupid? I don't have one priority. Or maybe I'm really stupid and I missed something obvious that made this problem easier. Because I don't know. Like, I don't see anything. And make it easier. Well, this should be struggling with that, I think. Plus, it will be a real pain to make something like one by one. Right should not be the block and the start of your block. Okay. 
But here we again have some issues that we solved yet. So complicated. It's not supposed to be. So in this case, they are in different blocks. They are in different blocks, and we have to count this block. They are in the same window. This one can be blocks. First, we have block set. Wait. Oh, okay, we know that it has to be the same value. We have to change strictly less than how. It means that we uniquely determine what value we have to assign. It's okay. Oh. I saw it for a second that there was some one wrong. So we set blocks. Everything. Um, I want the same thing. Put them on the same thing. We have done. Here we have to be careful. Oh, something is extra like this, I think. We have to update it. Thank you. 
Then when Q, it's not always. Here, it is not always beautiful. We want to wait. Here we will need inclusive. Next one. Small one. Yes, both. Really just block counts anyway. I'm trying not to think at that moment about C++ because, yeah. First, we want to Uh, here is you will show the all the place when you want to. If work sign, what's more can do? Work size or not work sign. Here's which are all equals to. Minimum of size plus. Otherwise, block is already in the correct state, so 
this is the only place where we have to actually do something. Um, I guess if some people are to do this, some equals white minus layouts all exactly possibly what equals points because they have to change my chart with them. Else, else. I reckon break that because of that. Waiters in the house, and we want to round up. As a rest, we want to round up. Well, as the uh, set, I guess, from left to right. Well, Yeah, let's make the string sexual like SSFF because no, okay. Vector in B will get this N got to make sure not to S, right? And then out of C equals uh, as D gets. And if C are not called, I mean, I, I'm guessing I have to, okay, it's possible. If B not equals C, possible equals false. Already copied the test case, I believe. Line 24, something is not good. Yes, of course. Line 20, block sum, block sum, block sum. 21, we're actually here using block sums. Which line? 79. Block set. You are absolutely right. Okay, so something went wrong. What? Okay. Oh, apparently I have to. Okay. Well, this place is slides. What? Looks like.
still, it's still failing for some reason. Okay. Well, we don't quite. Well, we don't zoom anything. Okay, just just like that. Show. Me. Okay, so it's set who fails for some reason. Okay. Let's see which part of set is failing. Okay, so like without this, it sometimes still crashes. Right? Okay, without this, it never crashes. But how? Or it's maybe because we don't have to increment right, we have to decrement left. Squares are one based. Well, that's not good, but it's uh, understandable. <laughs> oh, okay. So this list it sometimes fails. Minus minus. Three. It does not fail, but it does not produce correct answer. It's okay. I think it's still okay. It is not okay. So this answer is no. Actually, that is not like bad, right? It can, yeah, it can equal like a half minus one. I should check when that. It's that, absolutely. Well, that was not good. Wonder what is the final string like C? But hey, it's a good thing, right? <laughs> or is it actually? And I mean, I can do it all. I can do it here, right? Just be before every addressing like this. Schedule. So you see, because this is like a Once required, it says, okay, I'm going to assign, it assigns. And it says one prior query and then it assigns, okay. Here it has like two, one query. Oh, it has like one, two query. So it's accurate assign and on top it's right. Okay. 
here it says last query to process is six ten. So from six to ten. Is it from six? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it's uh, from six to ten. X square is from one to two. Right, next square is from three to five. From three to five, it's a size. And from one to seven, it somehow does not decide. Why? So it had like difficulties assigning a zero or what? Yeah, we can just divide by block size always. First of all, want to call it gets. We even can discard values. Actual values is not necessary here. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, let's not decide. Well, we can okay. Well, that's not good. It's almost an hour past, and we are still like blocks. So. Size and block size are pretty clear. We add plus one to be like super secure. I agree. First goes the values, then block sums. We can see that the block size is three. First sum is one, second sum is two, third sum is zero. That's okay. Uh, zero, 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 one, one is after assignment and block sums are zero, two, zero. It's okay. It's correct, it's correct, okay. One, zero. Zero one one zero zero one one zero is like post uh, last print. So it's straight away determines that sum is equal to exactly half of right minus left and miniature terms. Okay. Here we have this is the correct final state. Sums are two. Then three, four. Okay, so block size is four. Sum should be two to one zero. Okay. Zero one one zero zero one 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 one. It's after assignment. Assignment is valid. But block sums are not valid. This is two, and this is three, but this is not four. Ah, okay. So last block gets you.
Okay. When you set blocks, it does not always follow these patterns. Okay. Block left is what? It actually, why did it set that block in the first place? It clearly said that block, but it shouldn't. Right, because here we go from here, right? Maybe all our problems will go away if we just do like that. Two, three, four. Okay, they, they don't go away. Uh, no, but this is the block where the right is located. Where it actually goes down. Shouldn't it go up as well? Oh, now the update value is valid. So we get the sums are two, three, and two. Okay. And three, four, two. Okay. But it's still never assigned to index at zero. Why? Don't ask me. This is not this is okay. So this uh, index, if index is the start of a block, like this condition should be checked after we increment index, right? But now you're assigned, wait. Right, now it fails because we resized values, correct. Uh, Okay, well, this seem to be well. We don't need print here, we don't need print here. Well, let's actually then come. Oh man, I don't trust this code. But I guess we have like no other choice basically at this point. Let me just quickly check that size is non zero. Okay. If it works, I don't know. I will be very happy because I don't think it will work. Control. Obviously, we made some bugs. And I will be a super disappointed because like people 
Must now have to do it with segmentary. Yeah, a lot of people do it with segmentary. Potentially, I think so. Sorry, I just don't know it. Let's write some for drone tests. Yeah, it's not first. Well, 16 is too much. This is like the final string that we want to obtain. Because boss, uh, I said the last word is one through one of the things for our string. Since our string will get to that state. Suppose it's now I say a four eight. It means that the string will get to such state. Suppose then I say Two, two, four, three. And then I can say, I don't know, something fancy. Two, six, right? And get this more, two more bits. But what if I end just random queries if it's already here? Like three, five, right? And then uh, six, eight, just to put this. You should get yes. Well, I guess that means if you did get and um, you can start to test this, but clearly not in. in. It says that the initial array is the such block sum is two one one, two one one reasonable pretty reasonable. Uh, then it processes the query one three sets this bit and four eight turn these bits off. Turn these bits off. The sum so is three zero zero, it's correct. And it proceeds uh, to four, right? From two to four, it sets this bit. From two to six, it should set these two bits. I don't understand. So here's the problem. From two to six, it should set another bit. From two to six, it should set another bit, but it does not. I, what is the actual call inside? One, six, right? Block IDs will be zero and two. From zero to two, we'll set this value. And from one to six, Wait, that, that's not, it should not, oh, okay. We'll stop here, wait, wait, I forgot to touch on the connections. If index is smaller than range, 
index block size is one, and we break it because it's like the beginning of new block, and we don't want to get into the new block. Left block not equals right block, so we start at five. We go down. Right, this is again the same issue, right? Minus minus right, and then if This equals to zero minus minus index. Actually, like if it is the first in the block, then we don't want to go to the previous block. I believe it's clear. At least it set these two bits on, right? Two to four, it now work from two to six, it works correctly. From three to five, it works just fine. From six to eight, no, my dear, from six to eight, that's wrong, and it should be zero. from five to eight is four. How on earth was it four? Here you can clearly see that something five to eight. Is one. The so sum returns the incorrect value as well. And I'm guessing right, right. Wait, do we want so? No, here we want to check condition before we do anything. Because if it is like the beginning of the block, huh? But actually, why do we why do we do that? That's stupid. Also here, like we should set from next block into the previous block. What the hell? How did how did it even work? Yes, not supposed to take that block. Actually, that block we might take, right? Because it's like, right, so that's okay. But now, okay, so left block, left is not in the left block. Left is a previous block to left, so. Let's definitely go here. But here we are actually interested in this condition.
don't count that block. And if we don't count that block, what we do instead, no, here, like here, okay, let me, let me change it back. There is no plus one, okay? There is plus one in the call. There is plus one in the call. Some from zero to three is zero, it's incorrect. Because here, like even if we start with the block, yes, okay. So here we have the same issue again. And if we are in trouble. Why it was ridiculous how many missed bugs I can type in such a short code. Now this case is incorrect. Some from zero to three is two. That's incorrect. It's just incorrect. Maybe here we want the block of right minus one. Yeah, like here. Because I mean, we're going to start with block minus one, right? Yes, no, yes, no. Yes. And I have no idea, but it's a bit better and state looks more or less okay. I mean, we can easily, very easily run, run, into, run into issues of time, right? So we just, this is kind of slow. But I mean, we, we already submitted, so there is no turning back. There should not be turning back. Down, man. I don't know, maybe it's better to. But I don't know anything about geometry. Man, this is so bad. I don't know. I'm obviously having a terrible rating change. Yes. That's insane. People, please be, be. Uh, Okay. Okay. We still have a lot of time. We will do it. Actually, why don't we try a lot of small tests? Will it be okay? Oh, I don't know.
want, we want to jump from position nine to position 12. It becomes like that. So we want to jump from position Z, uh, from position five to position eight. It becomes like that. Now, this is from position six to position seven, eight. No, it's not six, it's six from seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Right, it should become like this. And let's say from 14 to 16. And let's say, let's take one more. From 12 to 14. We'll take this one. Uh, hmm. From two to five, Should take this one out. I also can't help but notice that like uh, patterns, three ways, kind of. But I don't seem to make any difference. Next. Yeah, let's insert uh, several demo cards in two, three, uh, eight, ten. Sixteen, sixteen, because we can. We have three quarters remaining. Let's go with uh, one, six. Five, eleven, and one sixteen. How about that? Okay. I don't know, man. What's this case in this case? Answer should be yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no. I honestly don't know. Let's just read our card again and make sure that we dig into a caverson is written. We have block size, we have size, we have block sum, we have values. When it shows from away, block size will be square root of size plus one, a bit inefficient of memory, but just to make our sound for sure. We'll need block size, the block count will be the same thing. Well, this will be resized a bit bigger. For size, we can adjust. Actually, here you can. Increment size. Uh, just to make sure that our thing is okay. So get the block ID, we divide by size, it's correct. To get block sum, inclusive, not inclusive, we do just that, inclusive, not inclusive. Block sum always contains uh, reasonable values. To get sum from left to right, from left inclusive to right, not inclusive, we take ID of left block, we take ID of right block, and we query for this value. Purpose of querying for this value is very simple. Let's 
sexual. We don't want to include left block completely because it's not, not necessarily it's included completely. And for right, we don't care because we exclude others. So we don't we exclude the block where is the first the missing element, and that makes perfect sense. We have an answer. We start at left, we go until we reach right or until we reach the beginning of the new block. The beginning of the new block is already processed here. So we add this and add this. That makes sense. We go for right block is actually the ID of the last element. This is the ID of the first element, the block ID. If they are in different blocks, wait a second. If they are in different blocks, this value, right minus one can be, we want to count right block, but not like always. If right is the beginning of the block, and right minus one is the end of the block. And we don't want to count it because it's a discussion in this. Okay, how do we check against it? And right model block size. Definitely inference system. So if this is zero, it means it's right to the beginning of the block. And we don't want to count this block because it's counted here. Otherwise, it's not counted here. Because right is not beginning of the block, and right minus one belongs to the same block as right. And we start at right minus one, go until we like reach zero. Do this like this. If we ever get to the beginning of the block, then we stop. But after we count to the value, okay. Block set, uh, this is incorrect. Something is incorrect, it tells me. Huh? Can I just compile to see the error message 19? Well, that was not very helpful. By the way, we can make it similar. So far, everything good. Here, here, there. Oh, okay, because we don't have a break. Okay. Now block sets from left block inclusive to right block not inclusive, we uh, update block sums. Don't care about values. Because when block is touched like not completely, it gets updated. When it gets touched, no, actually. Block was updated completely. It's suppose that block was updated completely. We changed its value. 
as then query comes and asks about part of this block. Why is it so complicated? I don't understand. Yeah, so this is incorrect because block set just says this. And block query comes. That's why we need push or something. It's okay. Hold on, hold on. So Puri just says like if block sum is complete. So if we, this block has like a specific value, then we have to index it because otherwise who knows what happens. I'm afraid we're now <laughs> running low on time in the sense of like this is just too, constant is too large. We want to update this block and we want to update this block before we, we start working on that. On the other hand, like here, now can ignore it, I think. No, but not here. Okay, what happens here? Let's index gets left. While well, this condition holds, while well, you set index gets well, if index is the beginning of the new block, then we break. Here the same thing should be. Red block gets updated to this value. If this is different from this, then we go from right to left. Makes more sense. Index is already declared, so I don't like this. Uh, well, Where you want to push the left block? Or actually, like here. Block ID. Uh, hmm. What 
exactly as well. 160. What's about 160? Oh, like here, I'm pretty sure. And you can drop this because size will be always good. A third answer is incorrect. Yes, we have to come back to print. For sort test case, right? Sort test case is what? Is this? Right now, it's this. What? Right, ah, here, okay, here it is. Sums are 2210, so first thing. Oh, wait, it does not change. Does not change. Why it does not change? Well, here we don't have to push. Here we need to actually. We need to do something different. So oh, when it's getting out of hand, but we still have some time, and we want to make sure that I did everything I can. I could. Wait, push does exact. Oh, okay, so push one gets executed if block sum is. Wait, do I simply have to like remove the list if we push? Just push all the time. Good. No, stop. This is the update function. This is the update function. Push is different. Push says um, value. That's index, and then value is at index. Okay. 
Yes, no, no. Okay, this page. Man, I'm getting destroyed. Properly destroyed. I want to figure it out. So here it increased. Where it is? Because it's then six square. Then one two square. No wait. Where where Q R is? Oh, okay, so it's three five coordinate. This was a six ten queries, which increased three five core. Three five actually executed nicely. On one seven. Wait, one seven works fine. What what's wrong? Oh, huh? oh, excuse me. Or oh, it should have gone one more. It should have gone one more. And it didn't, so. Hmm. Let's see. Push does what? If the value is complete, if the block is completely consists of something, then it takes value and updates the entire block to that value. Update does what? It updates the block sound. We queried something here to here. We push the changes on the left block. We then pass cancel on the left block. From left to right. We then pass cancel on the right block. Actually on the block of right minus one. We only ask this answer. Oh, I have more things not uncommented. So no, yes, no, no, because some from four to nine is three. Wait a second. Sum from four to nine is three. Three, five. Hello. How did you set rank value here? It said the correct. What do you mean well you understand? Yeah, you can break later, so you can. So yes, no. 
from five to ten is three about to set one from four to nine three about to set one and then it sets zero and exit. No. First, we set the, these blocks. I believe these blocks are empty in this case because block size is four. We start from eight because we go from, from second block. Nine is in second block. So, wait, nine is not inclusive. No, nine is inclusive. Okay. Wait, is nine inclusive or not? Nine is like index nine, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not inclusive, so the value is three, okay. Then we take this block of the previous man. No, actually here we go from four to eight. We go from four to eight. From four, like at eight, we break. Actually, why did we? Oh, we did not set to eight. So from four to seven, we set. And we update left block. Update does the following. It re resets the block sum and just computes it from scratch. Because we, like said that we I put, put new correct values in. Makes sense. Makes sense. Then we go from block of eight is two. It's not equal to left block. We go from eight. Eight is at least four. Values that index gets value. Okay, right is at least the left. While well, index is at least. What am I doing? Answers are no, yes, no. I think this should was that to be yes. Yes, no, no. Okay. Here again, the same problem. So no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Hmm.
It will be ridiculous if we end up like being too slow because we used the security decomposition instead of uh, segment tree. What? Man, I'm the happiest man alive, I must say. But that, that's, oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> it won't help us like anyways. Yeah, just see, like, we, we won't move up any places in the standards. That's that's what's ridiculous about this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Because we gained like nothing from that problem. Okay, it's, it's okay. It's okay, at least we now know that we 10,000% need segment tree, and we also 10,000% need uh, a security decomposition to pre write, or at least to practice a lot because, like. It would be okay if I had to write this, but I like wrote it uh, from the first try. It would be like one hours of faster. Uh, I mean, uh, not with the probability of around 90% we won't solve anything more. But never say never. Recently, learned that you can walk double platform. Recently, learned that you can. I'm not sure how to. Real Emac, right? First, we go to real, then Emac. So I learned that you can use this for this. Uh, hmm. So we want all angles to be smaller than 90 degrees. A1, A2, A5, center A2, and is to zero degrees. That makes sense. Okay, only cares about, he does not care to cycle, right? Yeah, there are no conditions like uh, with last points and first points. Still not clear. The smartest thing that I know how to do is to sort by polar angle. Uh, but then it gives you nothing like if your points are you can't just uh, use it in this order. Right, you have to do something smarter. Something smarter would involve like these guys, but how to... How do you know which one to take, right? No, definitely not like that. So. Hmm. 
But this can be big. Like you can't say for sure that this is not big. Yeah, I'm afraid I don't know how to solve this problem. I definitely ha I have no time to solve this problem, unfortunately. Oh, the only thing that I can hope for now is that uh, B does not fail the system tests. And I think we are here in the, this context. And tomorrow we'll need to practice the security decomposition and signature. I can't choose, like there are so many topics that I have to practice because there are so many mistakes that I make. I don't even know what is the best to practice. The uh, range of change should be like huge or negative. Sound to six. People tend to spend a lot of time on this problem on average. So it's like with our hack solutions. And Tom is just too smart. Tom is just too smart. I don't know, people, I'm a bit sad, so I'm just going to get like minus 90, I think. I mean, it's still okay, but uh, kind of disappointed. Well, I guess we have to practice more then. I mean, Happens, right? Nobody can go like, forever without negative death and creating changes. But yeah, there are definitely lessons to learn here. And I promise you, we will learn from these lessons. We will learn. We will. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm, I'm destroyed by this contest. But at least it uh, determined my weak place sucks. I mean, I think if you watch the footage back, then we'll like I have solved on the idea level this problem like in 15 minutes. And I spent like uh, seven times more coding. So it's definitely not the expected result. Like if we were to solve it at the time when uh, like Anton solved it, we will we would have 400 more points, and also we would have 500 more points because we wouldn't have like all the submissions. And 500 basically puts me like here, almost. And it's more or less acceptable. And then I have a lot of time left to think about geometry. <sighs> yeah, sorry guys, but it happens like it's life. Can't tell you anything more. I guess I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I hope you will perform better on the next contest. Unfortunately, I won't be able to participate in tomorrow's educational one because I have work to do, but I will try to record something in the morning. So it's just like, I have specific things to do in the evening, that's the reason. But I'll try to record some practice in the morning, maybe somewhat easier. I mean, it does not make, like, it's good to write a lot of contests. It's definitely good. But sometimes when you write a lot of contests, like you write too much, you don't have time to practice your implementation skills for specific topics. You don't actually learn that much. But if it's faster to learn when you like solve and practice problems, instead of uh, just doing contests, you have to do both. 
and we clearly leave the point uh, when we have to practice. Uh, I believe we did like at least 20 contests in the month of January. So it's like two contests in three days. It's crazy. Sometimes you just have to take time off and practice learning the concepts. It's inevitable. Like you can't learn everything from contests. You can learn a lot, but you can't learn everything. So yeah, I, I don't think it's actually bad. It was uh, fun. I mean, the grind for that problem was impressive. I mean, that we actually did it in the end. I know we didn't earn much points, but come on, like, you know, sometimes solving problems that you spent like uh, two hours implementing, it just feels better than solving easy problems that you solve like this. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'm happy that we did this problem in the end. It's unfortunate that it took that much time. It's a clear sign that we have to practice. And I believe it's like the third sign recently that I received from the content that we have to devote some time to practice. So it's got to be okay. I, I mean, I will stay a master like uh, in the beginning of January. I was like, I think actually like if B passes a system test that uh, they'll write and change over two previous contests, it will be positive. So because like last time we got plus 100, it could uh, make some like fake hopes that we can like reach international master soon, but so like, the truth is that it was just luck, and today we had less luck because we were like topic set was not uh, perfect for us. And the answer is not to wait for the perfect topic sets. And I, we knew that topic set won't be perfect for us. Like after I saw the contest in the morning, I believe I said like several times that I don't want to do the contest in the evening, but I have to. You, you have to. Like if I were not to do this content, then we would, we would not find out that I, uh, I'm like, I have to read right segment three because it's D1B. Right. So yeah. Now we know. I think we learned a lot of our witnesses from this month and makes a lot of opportunities for progress. So I, I think it's positive overall. The months in general. Uh, hmm. What else can I say? I think it's enough talking and we should, uh, and I should just you know, go practice. Like not today, probably because today it's a bit disappointing, uh, but definitely tomorrow. So see ya.